Hello everyone out there on the creative spectrum, my name is Gary Y of Outerground Studios and welcome to another software review. And on today's ballot, we have another free digital illustration program. Artweaver is a program made by a German company known as Boris Elrich Software. Advertised as a free digital art program with realistic brushes, a friendly interface, a powerful core, and it even boasts being able to connect to another person um, and being able to work on the same piece at the same time. And that is what drew me to this program. But to start, Artweaver has many similar tools to other programs, but it also has a few of its own to share, such as it has several photo editing brushes, such as Burn, Dodge, and Smudge. Um, it has acrylic brushes, calligraphy brushes, an image stamp tool, which is always interesting, and even has things like charcoal, crayon, and even oil brushes. Artweaver does something that I like to see in other programs, which is giving you a brush and then having a ca uh, category list of different presets of that kind of brush. I always love to see that in different programs. Um, Artweaver's core is actually as powerful as advertised. Even when I had Chrome, Bandicam, and Discord open with Bandicam recording, this program never lagged once. Whereas other programs would have began to lag quite a bit with Bandicam recording and Chrome open at the same time. Artweaver's interface is actually very simple and easy to understand. Not so overwhelming to give you too many options from the startup, making this a great tool for beginners. Like a lot of other art programs, the brushes can be heavily customized, even down to the texture they give off, which is always a good feature. Unfortunately, like all everything, Artweaver does not come without its fair share of problems. Such as, its an interface is made simple for newbies, but for veterans, they might be turned away because some of the more advanced options are hidden from you in menus. And I know that doesn't sound like a bad thing, but for me, I would want to have all my options laid out for me right from the get-go. But for a newbie, I can understand why this is a good thing. But for a veteran, this is a bad thing, so it might turn veterans away. And who knows, maybe some veterans will enjoy the fact that it's a more simple uh, UI. And the part that saddens me the most is that Artweaver used to have support, like server support, for the online capabilities so that you can connect to a friend and draw with them. They don't support that anymore. You can still set up a port forwarded server with a friend, you or a friend can set up one, and then you two can work on a piece together, but personally, I don't have the capabilities of doing that, nor do I know how to, so I was not able to test this. If you want to try this out for yourself and test the server capabilities and see how it works, let me know how it goes in the comments. I want to know if this is, you know, is something that works really well or not. But all in all, I give Artweaver a 4.5 4 out of 5. It's a program with many good features and very few drawbacks. And even if you wanted to set up a server so you and a friend could work on a piece together, you can. It's another good program for beginners. And even if, and if veterans can get past the very simplified UI, it'll be a good tool to use. I would recommend this program to anyone. I personally like it. It's not one I would use a lot because I have other programs I prefer more, but I still like this program nonetheless. You can even upgrade to Artweaver Plus for only $34, which unlocks many more features. Um, but anyways, link to download this program will be in the description below. If you have any questions or any, any ideas of what I should review next, let me know in the comments. If you want to see more OGS content, you should hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more reviews, please hit that like button so I know that I'm doing a good job here. Uh, but anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a colorful day. Bye-bye! So I know that I'm doing a good job here. Uh, but anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a colorful day. Bye-bye!